Okay, pretty straightforward. Now we talked about this yesterday. If you got a light page, your text is dark. If you have a dark page, your text is light. You want legibility, right? You want contrast. We've been talking about contrast. The text orientation, 95% of the time you're gonna justify left. There are occasions to pick, excuse me, a line left. And there are occasions to um, center your text, occasions, rarely, not often. And um, aligning right, can work for effect occasionally. Occasionally, okay, you got that? Not walls of text um, aligned right. And justified, WordPress is not up to this. This is a, an advanced typographic technique that you need something like InDesign for. So don't even try it, or don't try that. It makes your text, it tries to make your text the same width. The left and right margins are consistent all the way down, but you'll have rivers of white running through your text. Trust me. All right, so I want this to stand out. What can I do? You know, well, I can make it bold and I can change the color here by clicking this little downward pointing arrow. And look, I've got, I don't know, 28 choices. I don't know what this number is, but it's low. Custom, hey, 16.7 million choices. This should look familiar with Photoshop, right? Okay, so if you want, you can pick a color. But still, it's not really standing out, is it? See this paragraph right here? You wanna be in paragraph mode, like I said, 95% of the time, 98% of the time maybe. What's here? Ah, oh, what are these headings? What are these? Okay, you can choose a heading to make your text a little bigger. You kinda wanna avoid going crazy big because, you know, might not look so sweet. I don't know. Hey, what's this? This is, look, it says week one through seven. Didn't I say one through six yesterday? Hey, we're in week seven, aren't we? Okay, everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes daily and you're a witness to them. So this is your documentation for the first seven weeks. Overall description of what you've accomplished to this point. Yeah, yeah, and show your work. Talk about it. Link to specific quests. How do I link? What do I do? How do I link? Well, let's pull up a new tab and let's go to the Mac Lab. And maybe head out to a quest. Yeah, I should log in. Um, head out to a quest. Oh, my blog part one. And look, there's a link. I'm gonna copy it, Command C. Hit Command one, get over to this tab. Now I'm gonna link to specific quest. Hey, look, see this? Look, looks like a link, doesn't it? A link in a chain, break the link, click. Hey, look, URL, Command V. Okay, open window, new link, or in new window or tab. Open link and new window or tab. Wait, wait, wait. If you're leaving your site, yeah, click this. Because, see, I'm looking at your page. And if I click a link, when I click it, I'm gonna look at what you link to, and then I'm gonna close that tab or window, and then your site disappeared if you didn't click this. Okay, if you're linking internal to your own site, don't click that. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's now a link. How about that? What's this? And resources, so someplace like if you got a font that you used in your logo from some site, well, I don't know where it came from. Well, what's the name of that font? And why don't you look it up and find out where it came from, who the type designer was. Give that person credit if you downloaded it. Play fair, right? Link out, credit your sources, document your work. Doesn't that make sense? You do that in your other classes. What is this? Use all caps sparingly and don't use all bold text. I have this, kids will, will select all their text and make it bold. Yeah, that looks good. No, that looks terrible. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. But for specific words and for specific effect, hey, maybe I want this red. I want you guys to notice. Use all caps sparingly. Don't do this very often. When you do it, then it stands out and avoid the dreaded wall of text. Use paragraphs. Well, how about if we take our wall of text, highlight it, and we can just click bold again, or hit Command B, and we can make paragraphs. And paragraphs are created with just one return. 
That's how paragraphs are made on the web. Got that? One return. You don't indent text. You don't indent text on the internet. Got it? Got it? Okay. The dreaded wall of text. And a lot of you guys will do this. Ah, you got it? Keep your documentation clear. Link to your quest that, you know, that you uh, worked on your project from. And if they've got multi-stages, maybe you want to link to the different stages. This is an important part of your documentation for the rest of the year. I want you to go ahead, do that, update, and when you look out at your page, hey look, we got a heading, it's not too big, but it does stand out. That. Boy, does that stand out and that wall of text is now broken up into paragraphs. How much nicer that is to read, right? Okay, have some fun today.